everyone so i would say that for the most part i'm a law-abiding citizen however when it comes to fashion i'm a law offender there are numerous so-called fashion rules to follow but honestly when it comes to styling your outfits it's all about feeling confident and wearing something that makes you feel good in your own skin. I wouldn't say my personal style aligns with a specific aesthetic, but rather I'm a style chameleon, meaning that my personal style is always changing and developing with my mood. So let's just jump into some commonly known fashion rules people should follow, but these are rules I break. All right, so first up, sequins are for nighttime. So I've heard this one so many times and I do get where people are coming from. Sequins and sparkles are typically associated with evening wear, cocktail attire, but there is just so much more beyond that. If you're looking for a subtle way to incorporate sequins into your outfit, try something like these black sequin top shorts. Another way to style these black top shorts is to wear something that contrasts it. So for instance, I wore it here with my striped lace up top and it's a good juxtaposition where you have something dainty and girly at the bottom and just something really casual on the top. There are other ways to wear sequins as well. So here I have just the um, blue sequin top and I just paired it with regular white denim jeans and it's just a good casual spring look. You can elevate this by wearing it with pumps, heel sandals, or you can keep it casual with sneakers. Second rule I've heard is don't mix prints. So clashing prints can cause a bit of a doozy to those around you if it's not done correctly. And for this look, this is one of my favorite outfits I've worn. So I just had a printed shirt dress. It's pink. It is a bit oversized. And to combat that, just paired it with my polka dot toy brooch. I really think it works cohesively. The prints are different polka dots. So you have these like striking patterns on the shirt dress, but colors work together. The prints, if you're not into something as bold, you can go for subtle prints. So the next rule I've heard is match your shoes to your bag. And I've heard both variations, whether you should match or not match them. And honestly, I see no problem with either. I've done both, but often I rarely match my shoes to my bag. And it can be seen here. So I have my Swan Le Sortier mini skirt, and I paired it with a halter neck. I uh, kept with a purple theme with my Proenza Schooler clutch, but for shoes, I chose some pink suede heels. I think it works well with pink heels as I did here, but it also works with nude heels. And if you wanted to go for an all purple look, that would work as well. So there's really no reason to not mix and match your bags or to keep it in the same color scheme. The next rule I've heard is double denim is a no. And this is otherwise known as a Canadian tuxedo. Prior to this year, I wasn't a big fan of it, but there are just so many street style pictures of models wearing this off-duty look, so I wanted to try it for myself. Posted her wheel on Instagram and I believe also on a YouTube Shorts, which I'll include here so you can see. But the key is to just mix washes. So what I mean by that is if you have a light denim jacket, you want to opt for some darker jeans and vice versa. I have both a light and dark denim jacket so I can mix and match and I do plan on wearing this when cooler weather comes to California. Next up, shorts are only for summer. So if you've been following along on either my Instagram or YouTube, you definitely know that I wear shorts year round. I really haven't worn trousers or jeans or even pants that much until the pandemic started and then I started gravitating towards more comfortable wear. But when I was in school, I wore shorts year-round. Maybe it's just me, but all I have to do is bundle up on top. I can wear shorts or a mini skirt below. I'll include pictures here just to give you an example of how I wear shorts during colder weather. So it varies from either sailor shorts, denim shorts, and even leather shorts. The next rule I've heard on so many fashion blogs is that petite girls, such as myself, should not wear maxis. Honestly, couldn't disagree more. I think maxis are perfect for petite girls. They give the illusion of longer legs, and if you wanted to, you could 
pair it with some chunky platforms just to make yourself look that much taller. It's one of my go-tos in the summer, especially if I'm traveling somewhere. It's just easy to toss on. Next up, dresses and pants don't work well together. So you may be thinking, it's kind of weird if you wear dresses and then put pants underneath. However, there's different variations you can do with it. For me, it's all about versatility. So I love dresses with a complete functional button down front. And with that, I can wear the dress alone, all buttoned up and pair it with my own belt. Or if I wanted to make a light jacket out of it, I would just unbutton it and pop it on top of either another dress or jeans. Just think it's so effortless and lightweight. I've actually gotten a lot of compliments from people for this particular outfit saying they liked how I styled it. So I guess it does work for some people and I know a lot of traditional customs do wear dresses on top of pants. So next up, clutches are only for night. I have this yellow Tory Burch clutch that I absolutely love wearing. It's the perfect daytime clutch. It includes a wristlet so you can just hang it on your wrist if you don't want to carry it. It is long so it can fit a lot of things. I can see why people would assume that clutches are only for night if they're thinking of the traditional evening cocktail wear clutches. Last one I'll cover is don't mix black and brown. And I really don't see why you wouldn't be able to mix black and brown. It's just the perfect color combination. It works well for casual outfits, and brown and black combination really works well in California. It really gives off summer vibes and it just makes you feel like you're on vacation. So there's so many different variations you could create with black and brown. Why limit yourself, right? So these are just some of the fashion rules I've heard that people should be following. Of course, there's more, but if I went through all of them, it would be an extensive video. And as you can see, I don't exactly follow the rules when it comes to fashion. So more of the story is wear something that puts a smile on your face, whether it's getting all dolled up, keeping it minimalistic, athleisure wear, whatever the case may be, just wear something that makes you feel good, confident, and ready to conquer the world. Until next time, thanks everyone.